Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can add recurring tasks automatically to a sheet so they add on as new lines, new rows below existing content you have in that sheet. And this gets them to go in automatically, whereas in other examples you might be updating that line and then information that's been there previously has been removed. Now, there is a solution for that route where you could actually have an archive sheet and things move off but there'll be cases when you want to have all that information in one place. So I'm gonna take you through a scenario in a moment, but before we do, as ever, a quick reminder, at Productive, we love helping organizations and people transform execution, unlock potential. We provide these videos to inspire people of what you can achieve with Smartsheet. Uh, we work with clients around the world. We'd love to support you if you want to get in touch and find out um, to accelerate what you can do with Smartsheet. Please do let us know. There's links in the information down below. Um, and like, subscribe, let other people know that you value the content. Let us know what other videos you might like to see. So without further ado, let's dive in and let's see what this one is about. So this scenario is about a monthly checks that a facilities company might need to do or a property company where they've got to check fire alarms, fire escapes, locks and doors, etc. And they want to have this in one simple sheet where they can view that and they can go back to their file history um, and see what information has been updated over time, the activity log, etc. It keeps it all in one place. Now, in terms of as the information comes in, it's actually you want to add the new lines in as and when they're required rather than it having all the information for all the months um, as they go ahead. So what's the solution here? Well, I've created a feed sheet. So this monthly checks feed has the items, it's got the date and it's got the due date here. Now this due date is listed based off, there's a, the date is recorded up here in the due date. I've colored it so that it's hidden away um, so you can't see it. And the month, because I want it to actually say the month, it's a bit of a more technical formula. So it says August instead of the date um, in that side. Now these items down below are driven by formula as well. So you can see these have got different dates on that side. Now the beauty is that when this information goes into here, you'll see that the due date is actually hard coded. And that's the brilliant thing that this month is hard coded as well. So once it's in the actual monthly checks tracker, nothing will change on that bit other than the status that's updated. And the great thing here is you've got additional columns that exist in this monthly checks tracker sheet. They're not needed here because additional columns you have here will get copied across. I do have a level column um, and that is used in terms of an automation I've got running, but I also actually have that level column here on this sheet because I use it for conditional formatting to make this row blue um, on that side. So that's kind of just a bit of background of how I've set this up. You can set this up however you want in terms of these items, so up to you. What you wanna see though is how this recurring task happens. So on it, I've got two automations that sit in here. So one is I've got a automation to record the date. So this is currently set up that when a date is reached, on the, um, on the, every month on the first Monday, then it records a date at one o'clock in the morning. Now, it's using that level column because it's going to only do it on the row, which is the level one column, which is the first one, and it's gonna record the date in the due date cell. So that, if I just come back out, is this cell here. So because it's level one, it's gonna record the date here on the first day of every month. So the other automation that sits behind this is once the date is updated, the due date changes to any um, value in level one, then it copies rows to the monthly checks tracker. So I'm just gonna come back out and just show you what happens here. So if I now go and change this date and say it's going to be the um, 1st of September, so 1.10, well, let me just do that, 1st of September, and the due date, yep. So all these dates down below have updated as well. If I now save this, and again, imagine that this has been recorded on that date. So what happens then is let's go across to the tracker, and what we'll see happening momentarily is that that information comes in. You can see the September date is there, 
and these items are in. Beautifully, this is hard-coded, as are these dates as well. So the power of this is then someone can go in and fill out the information when it was completed, the status, all that information. You still have this uh, formula here, which is going to say if it's overdue or not um, on those dates. So this is the power of that piece. So I trust that's useful just as a quick way of how you can add lines, rows of information to an existing sheet. Now this can be done in many different ways. Again, this is a facilitator's um, example, but this could be done in projects or whatever you want where you want to add recurring tasks using the automation. The power is that it's using the functionality of recording the date on a specific date. You can change this to be daily, weekly, monthly, however you want to do it on that side. So I trust this has been useful and one of many videos that we're doing to help you upskill to get the most out of Smartsheet. So please let us know if we can help you with more. Thanks for watching and bye for now.